What's up guys, my time Spook here, and I just got something very quick to share with you guys, and I've been so busy, so I'm sorry to everybody, and also on my YouTube comments somehow I've screwed up, and, you know, so I gotta get that remedied, so if you wrote me a comment guys, and I haven't got back to you, I'm not trying to be rude, I just can't do it, so I gotta, we'll have to figure that out, but <clears throat> without further ado guys, I got a package in the mail from Russia, um, well, it was sent from the States, but from Russia, and, uh, it was just a heck of a good gesture, and, um, you know, this isn't a company that gives out stuff for review. They more or less just did it for me because I was a fan. And, uh, you know, I got a good rapport going with, uh, you know, some people there. So thank you very much to Kislar Supreme and my buddy Constantine, who's uh, my brother, you know, my brother from Russia. So thank you very much, guys. And uh, But I'm going to show you a couple things they sent. Number one being this, guys. Well, there's some other cool stuff, but Kislar Supreme, crazy Russian. And uh, Crazy Russian Commando, superior quality performance knives, uh, you know, developed in Russia, in OD green, and on the on the back, you know, Kislar Supreme, my knives are sharper than yours, with a couple of their models there, and this is in like a stretchy Under Armour type shirt in OD green, very, very cool shirt, and uh, very appreciative of that. So there's a shirt that they were cool enough to send, um, they sent me a couple patches, with their crazy Russian commando on there, you know, same thing. Uh, awesome knives developed in Russia, basically. And these are the Velcro, so you can put. I'm gonna put one on my pack, and on one on a hat that I have. And uh, so there's a couple patches they were nice enough to send. Uh, a couple pens. These are very nice pens, guys, in digital camo. And I have a small pen collection, so one will stay without being used, and then I will use one. And they have, I thought that was very cool. They have the Kislar crown on the uh, back of them and they're in digital camo. And they're the pens that like you can turn. So just very, very nice little pen. They sent me two of those babies. So here's some, I do this as quick as I can guys. I don't have a lot of time today. And uh, But soon I'll be having some videos posted of some other stuff I have and some things that are gonna be coming up. So uh, here's the first knife guys. This is the Santee. And this is a very, very cool like EDC fixed blade, uh, modeled after their Nikki, I believe. So this is like the little brother, little sister, if you want to call it, to the Nikki. This is a D2 steel, uh, satin finish there, and micarta, beautiful micarta scales, and some jimping there, and very, very thick. This is an excellent little EDC slash backup knife. You got yourself a Kydex sheath with a nice, very nice belt. Uh, Bell attachment and they make this stuff themselves in house guys so this kydex sheath their buckle everything is made by uh, Kizlar Supreme this lanyard even was made by them so they actually even include lanyards sometimes with the knives and they're actually made by them so very very cool uh, the second one's actually a folder that I was really excited about and this folder guys is called the prime and this is in d2 steel as well as the Santee is in d2 and uh, you know we got uh, it's a tactical folder and you know thumb disc on the top it's a liner lock with flow through construction uh, it's got black and uh, it's a red color g10 excellent excellent g10 they, they're known for their g10 guys they actually make sheaths and everything out of the g10 uh, right over there themselves um, it's got this arrow pocket clip and let me tell you guys that is probably the most easiest and uh, accessible pocket clip i've ever used so i wish all my knives had this arrow pocket clip so very awesome of them to do that this thing's smooth as butter guys i'll tell you that right now all their knives are and they're super super sharp um this, this is scary this one's scary sharp i've been using this at work and i've cut like a pile of cardboard already with it guys and it hasn't had a mark on it yet and it also hasn't uh you know it's, it's still just as sharp as it was when i first started lockup's perfect on it you can see that guys and i'm using a new phone a new camera so the lighting's kind of screwy that's why i'm behind the light so probably annoying but sorry about that guys but uh, these are all going to have their own couple videos each, individuals and couple videos each on each product. So we'll get to know more about specs and everything. But that's their uh, Kislar Supreme Prime folding knife. And here's the big one here, guys, that I want to show you. And this is the Croc. And this is, uh, first off, the sheath is uh, all Molly compatible. You know, these uh, you've got snap, snap and Velcro buttons. I mean, they're just, this is a secure, secure sheath. And also, once again, this is made in-house by Kizlar Supreme. 
Um, it's even got, if you can see in the light, you know, it says Kislar there. These are made there by them. And uh, very, very awesome sheaths, guys. One of the nicest sheaths in nylon I've ever seen. And the croc is a tactical knife. And this is an AUS 8 steel. Craton handles. And like I said, we'll get into the specs and everything, but razor, razor blade sharp. And it actually looks like a croc, so that's why they go with the croc. But this is a tactical, uh, one of their bigger tactical slash survival knives. And it's wicked comfortable in the hand, guys. It's got, uh, you know, a guard there for stabbing because it is a tactical knife. But, you know, I'm not looking at them as defensive weapons, but as far as a survival situation, you know, this is thick. You're going to be able to do whatever you want. It's got a good steel. And uh, it's a man you know, a manageable steel in AOSA you can sharpen again. It's about as far as tactical goes, if you did need it in the tactical situation, guys, or you're an operator and you're looking for knives like that, this thing would be awesome for that. You know, there's talk of uh, on one of the sites about these being able to pierce Kevlar, you know, vests and everything. So a very, very cool knife. I'm more looking at it as a survival knife, but just very, very well put together and uh, just beautiful knife. And as I said, the sheaths are made in-house over there in Russia. So they've got, uh, you know, they're making the sheaths themselves exactly for the knives. So I just want to share that stuff with you guys. And I'm sorry I haven't been putting the videos out like lately. But I've been, if you know the channel, this is me. I've been working, you know, the summers and when I make the money. So i got to work and work and work. But there's still going to be more videos pumped up. I've got this stuff, you know, the Kislar stuff I just got in. That was just a gift from them, you know, saying thank you for being a good fan. And, uh... You know, just I've got a call. I had another thing from Shrade that came in that I need to do videos of. So I mean, there's stuff coming in, guys. So I got to get the videos up. So I'm gonna have to work a little bit harder. Anyway, guys, this is Maritime Spook signing out. Just want to show you this Kislar stuff. Go check it out, KislarSupreme.com. They've got a ton of different knives, guys, in every genre that you want, and they're all quality. I can tell you that right now. So anyway, guys, Maritime Spook signing out. Stay tuned, and uh, you'll see some more stuff coming up. Take it easy, guys. Keep your stuck on the ice.